Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Chrome Remote Desktop is not working properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check them back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very easy. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HKEY Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Policies. So go ahead and double click on that. And you want to go locate Google. If you don't see a Google folder in here, you're going to have to go ahead and create it. So right click on the Policies folder, select New and then Key. Name this key Google, hit enter, and now you'd right click on Google, select new, and then key, I'm going to call it key Chrome. If you already see this, you don't have to create it, obviously, if it's already in here. On the right side, you want to locate a value in here. This is remote access host allow client pairing. If you don't see it in here, you're going to have to go ahead and create it. So right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32-bit value. Name this value Remote Access Host Allow Client Pairing P-A-I-R-I-N-G Again, Remote Access, two C's and two S's, so A-C-C-E-S-S, -S, Host, H-O-S-T, Allow, A-L-L-O-W, Client, C-L-I-E-N-T, Pairing, P-A-I-R-I-N-G, hit enter. And now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and double click on this value. Set the value data to one. So type in a numerical value of one in here, like you see it on my screen. Select OK. And now you will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. So let's go ahead and restart our computer at this time. And hopefully that should have been about it, guys. And hopefully I was able to resolve the problem. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.